Apple dropping something on our head that I did not expect to come out. I didn't hear really too much any news on it. I did see maybe a couple people post it, but they were really, they didn't have anything concrete. So I had no idea that these were coming out. Um, today was the new HomePod. Yesterday was the MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini. The reason why I didn't put out a video or make this video yesterday was because I did hear there's more products coming out today. Now, I haven't heard about any more products going coming out. I heard these were just it, but we're going to get into each one of them and you're going to see which one I recommend on ordering and if I'm going to uh, order one myself. So let's get straight into the video here. So let's start off with the Mac Mini and the fact that the Mac Mini didn't get a redesign is really big of a bummer, but it is super refreshing to see that the Mac Mini got a lower price point. That's one. Two, that if you go for a now M2 Pro, you do get the four Thunderbolt ports that I was talking about that I wish Apple did. And I know um, I talked about it last year, if I'm not wrong, um, when I had got the Mac Studio and the reason why I got the Mac Studio over, um, and got rid of my Mac Mini. Well, to be honest with you guys, this is the reason why. I wanted this, the M, I wanted, and I know they didn't do it with the M1, which I mean, obviously does suck, um, cause I think it would have done really well if they could have done an M1 Pro, but I get it, you know what, they didn't have the time frame to do it all. The M2 Pro, the, with the four Thunderbolt ports are the biggest thing that I love. I don't really use an SD card reader, um, so that doesn't really fade me between the Mac Studio and the two extra USB-Cs are great, but um, I'm going to show you guys also that I don't even use all four of the USB-Cs that I have now. I think I only use, and one of them is a display. I use it for to display it to my um, Samsung here. But I only use four. So honestly, this was perfect for me. And I hate the fact that it was kind of like tucking from me like in a, in a way. Like, uh, I wish this would have been the was, was out because this is the one I wanted over the Mac Studio because I knew I didn't need all the processing power of the uh, Mac Studio. I really only needed the power of, of, of the Pro. And that's was something that I was really hoping that they would have done. Obviously, it didn't happen. Unfortunate, but... We're here now, so, and let's go ahead and, and look more into it. So as you guys can see, they have the M2 Basic with the eight core GPU, 10 core, or sorry, eight core CPU, 10 core GPU, and eight gigabytes of unified memory with 256 storage with a lower price. Last year it was 699, or um, sorry, when it was M1 two years ago, it was 699. Now it is 599 for the M2. So. Congrats on Apple on that one. 256 is still way too low storage. So I would definitely um, really wouldn't look, recommend that option too much. I would actually jump up to the M2 with the 512 gigabytes of storage um, just because that one does have half a terabyte. And nowadays, I think with files being so big and things like that, and people that are going to use this are probably light video editing, mostly probably photo editing and getting productivity work done um, that's more web-based. So that is where I would go with it. Um, like I said, though, you could go for the 256 if you really don't need the storage. I really did, and that's pretty much the reason why I have half a terabyte in mine. Um, then, obviously, as you guys can see, I don't know, let me see if it will even let you. Okay, so it does, okay, so. So let you go up to the 24 and you could just you could just spec it out for me. So this is how I'm gonna, I, I, this is how I would spec mine out. One, I can't do nothing less than 16 gigabytes of memory. That is an automatic. 512 would be for me as well. Um, I don't really need the 10 gigabit Ethernet port, so I would just leave that where it may. Uh, I don't need none of that. But as you can see in the box, it just comes with. Three months of Apple TV for free, a Mac, the Mac Mini, and the power cord, which is all you really need. Um, so it doesn't come with a keyboard, doesn't come with a display, so don't think of it as a iMac replacement. Look of it 
more as if you already have all those peripherals and you just need the powering machine itself, then this is a great option. And even if you have an M1, please upgrade to an M2. It will change your life on video codecs, codec <clears throat> and really get you what you really need um, in terms of editing rig. Now, that's, now this is what I would probably go with if I was just going to be using this for for work, light work, you know, if I just didn't need it, if I didn't need that many ports, things like that, it just needed more for aesthetics and kind of stuff like that. This is kind of what I would go for. Now, the one that I would choose if this was myself, by the way, this is a thousand dollars already. This is a thousand dollars, the one I would spec. My personal one that I would go with would already start at thirteen hundred dollars, so it's already going to be this one. Um, I don't know if I really need the 19 core GPU. I don't game on my Mac, so that doesn't. And I know the G extra GPU is helpful along with the extra CPU, but $300 is kind of a lot. And then 32 gigabytes is like, wow. Um, I think I actually, mm, now looking at it, what I go for. Okay, I can see her, yeah. So I would do it probably like this. To make up for the extra cores, I'd go for a 32 gigabyte memory swap here with the just a 512. I don't really need a terabyte, so that doesn't really do me no good. Keep everything else the same, but as you can see, same thing here. But uh, I don't know if I'll let you look at the back. It should. But as you guys can see here, it does have the four Thunderbolt ports, and it is Thunderbolt 4 supported, where these are not. In the Mac Studio, it is, I believe, Thunderbolt 3 supported, and, the other, and then two in the front are USB-Cs, unless you go for the Ultra, and they're all six or Thunderbolts. And then you have the HDMI, and then you have the two USB-As. In my Mac Studio, here I have the same exact ones. So I have four in the back, a gigabit, the power cable, HD by um, headphone jack, just like all that you see here, and then the two USB A's, just the additional added of two USB um, C's in the front, along with a uh, SD card reader. So this is the perfect machine for me personally. This is what I would have gotten for sure. You see $1,700, so it's still close to $2,000. Um, honestly, that is the thing I would go for now. If I did, let's say, really need the neural engine, then I would probably go that route and save an extra $100. Um, but as you guys can see, it is still pretty up there. With a delivery date, likely, as you guys can see, if I pay or if I got it free from February 2nd to February 6th, if I want to pay it store, which is... Obviously, a free option. If I wanted to pay an extra eight dollars, which doesn't really change much, um, I get it earlier. But pretty good overall. I think this Mac Mini was a home run hit from Apple. I think they did the perfect job releasing it in January, top of the year. It needed a ref it needed some new guts in the internal. It did a great job. I knew they weren't really going to redesign it. They didn't really put one out on the redesign. I do believe. For the M3, they will redesign it. I knew they weren't going to do that for the M1 and M2. I think they really didn't have it ready to do a redesign yet. So stay tuned on that. But the new M2 MacBook Pro, I was shocked that they were that they put this out early. I was totally thinking that Apple was going to do this one in the um, event usually like held in April, March or April. So I was shocked that they just went ahead and said, boom, here you go with this one. But go ahead, let's go ahead and you can go ahead and see here the M2 Pro versus the M2 Max on these new MacBook Pros. So as you guys can see, the M2 Max is 12 core CPU, 30 core, 38 core GPU, 96 gigabytes of unified memory, 4,000 gigabyte 400 gigabytes of memory bandwidth transitioners and you can see here everything that it comes with up 23 streams of 4k pro res video playback where i believe it was 20 with the pr previous i think the previous one i'm not gonna wrong because on the m this is the m2 pro here 
I know you can do this, you can get all this, but I think it was only two. I think it was only like 20 gigabytes, if I'm not wrong, on that one. The M, the M2 Max being up to 10 streams of eight of 8K video is pretty nasty. Like that means their video encoders are insane, and you can run Cinema 4D beautifully. Have a whole 3D setup there where the M1 Max was a little struggle on that. Uh, you guys can see here compared to the M1. Now this is compared to an Intel Core, so don't. Apple likes to finicky the numbers a little bit. Don't listen to that. And then you guys can see your number. But really, what you guys are wanting to see is the M1 Max versus the M2 Max. As you guys can see, it's about a 15 to 20% difference in the 16. And I believe it's the same in the 14. Yeah, it's the same in the 14. Not that big of a difference on that one but the battery life is so much better on the on these compared to the other one i think the m1 was like i know it was let me see for the battery life i believe it was i believe it was actually no it's not that much better i think it's only an hour Cause I think it was only I think it was fourteen for the sixteen, and I know for fourteen it was struggling. It was like a ten. It was like you could kill that thing pretty fast. Um, but up to eight terabytes of SSD storage, the most ever. Much better cooling. This is the the best cooling system they've ever had. They revamped that, and so they so they revamped the entire internals, um, but left the rest of it the way it is, which is. Totally fine by the way guys to mini LED display it gets super bright. It's a really nice contrast um, You're looking still at phenomenal work So you'll never have to worry about that the only thing that I And they did upgrade the ports to Thunderbolt 4 the only thing I don't like oh and they this they do support Wi-Fi 6e now, which is phenomenal They didn't change the HDMI it is still an HDMI 2.0 Apple 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 can we please get it at 2.1 this is up to 120 Hertz refresh rate screen and we're still working with it with 2.0 HDMI can we please get to an HDMI 2.1 it does connect up to three displays from your uh, if you get the M1 max version if you get the arms uh, or M2 max if you get the M2 pro it's only two displays so just make sure you Keep that in mind if you're somebody who uses your lap who uses their laptop a lot for that type of things. Um, it is starting off at the exact same price that it did last time, so at least there you don't really have to change. Um, but I will go ahead and go into the ordering guide for you guys and show you guys exactly what I would get. Um, I think it's. Yeah, so if I was, because I already have the M1 Max, I don't know then if I could go to like a Pro, because other than the video encoders, there's nothing else that's better than this one. So I think I would have to then go for like a Max, which is already, you know, three grand. Um, but I would go for it. I'd probably go for it in the 14 inch body and now we get like this version now the only cool really cool things about these is that it starts off at a terabyte which before it started off at half a terabyte which is probably why you see this price a little bit more but it's actually the same as if you spec it to the one terabyte storage option so that is still really cool you only get this in the m1 mac it starts off at a terabyte now. I think if you go for the Pro, it still starts at 512, if I'm not wrong. Yes. So it still does start off with the 512 for that one. And with the 16, I know it's automatically terabyte on the Max as well. So that is the reason why if you think it costs more, it really doesn't cost more. It's really just because of um, 
the spec of it going to a one terabyte option. So as you guys can see, you can get 96 gigabytes of RAM. You could not get that in the M1 Max. You know what? I, let me see if I can show you guys a difference. So I will show you on M on a Mac Studio what you can get. By the way, this is two grand. Two grand. Follow it, right? M1 Max, M1 Ultra. Now we're not looking at for the Ultra, even though it's not that you know, ultra still good option if you're if you need it if you need it. not really saying you need it but this is the option that I have even though I know you can go up to this option but let me show you how much you can only go up to 64 gigabytes bro 64 gigabytes of it and it already comes with terabyte so I'm already looking at $600 more than what I paid for a terabyte and 64 gigabytes, right? That's $2,600. This, this is for the max. This is not including the higher end spec. Now with, with, okay, let's go with, yeah, sorry, with the higher end spec, we're looking at $2,800. So you're looking at $2,800. Think about that for one second, and we're gonna head back to these. And let's say you get, this one, right? You see, it's 3,500, right? If you go for this version with 96, with one terabyte, you're looking at $4,100. For probably the most, this is the top laptop right now that you could get. So imagine 96 gigabytes with the M2 Max. That's an extremely powerful machine, if you didn't know. Um, you should not get this option. No one should get this option. If you really need a laptop and you do pro workflow, I would tell you, Right now, don't get that one. I would tell you to go ahead, step up. Well, mm, I would tell you to step up to the 16 and go for this option here. Because this is already the highest version of the M2 Pro chip. It doesn't get any higher. This is just a storage difference. And I would get something like this. And I would get this. 16 inches. You have the highest version of the M2 Pro. You have <clears throat> now. The only thing is, do, I don't know how much memory you need. Depending on your s stuff, you may need 32 gigabytes of storage. Okay, I do understand if if you need that. Now, if you do want it in a smaller package, because this is twenty nine hundred dollars for this version, we can go to the fourteen inch model, and we could go to this one. But again, it doesn't have thirty two gigabytes of memory, so you're still paying the same twenty nine hundred dollars. You are getting more storage so i do want to mention that so you are getting more storage you are getting a smaller screen though so you do have a smaller screen you do have less battery compared to that 16 inch has more battery and a bigger screen now it's only by about two hours different of battery life but those two hours could be very important to you depending on how far you push this machine and things like that so just make sure that you you know communicate that with your with yourself and your workflow and, and what you're really gonna need it for. And if this product machine makes you money, if it does not make you money, you do not need any of this. You can go all the way back down to the air and you'll be good. But if this machine makes you money and this machine does things that you need it to do to produce that money, then I would totally say to get these products. Now, another product that did also release is the new HomePod. Let's go to the ordering guide. February 3rd is when this would be available. You can get it at midnight or white. Um, I would get it in, I'd get it in midnight. Uh, obviously, you can see the difference here. So it is more immersive sign, more immersive sound. You get high fidelity. You do get a couple of cool things on this one that you didn't really get on the other ones. Um, so this one can do a little bit more uh, with better with syncing. It can also do better with, when you tell it something, it could do on the other one as well. This one also does have spatial audio and it does sense your room. I don't know. 
um, those are five tweeters instead of two. Um, and those are radiators, those are even tweeters. So it's really depending on if you're just a music head, um, if it's worth three times. Because uh, it is $300 versus $100. $100 um, honestly, for me, this isn't worth it. Because Google makes one. Here it is. All right, so they don't sell it, but others sell it. My Walmart sells it. This is what it competes against. So this is the big boy here. And you could also charge your thing on it. Yes, it is $50 more if you want to get the charcoal version. Just get the chalk version. 50 bucks for a color. Ain't that serious. By the way, you could charge a device with it. It does the exact same thing. Has great audio and great listening experience. It's compatible with multiple of them. Um, and it's the exact same price. <sighs> and Google's a better assistant than Siri by a million. And it, and you're able to work with more smart home devices than, well, than with the one that's on Apple's. So if I was to be honest with you, I would choose this option over the other option. Now, it's up to you if you decide to choose a different one, but I'm telling you from my experience and what I've heard from this device, that yes, this device is the better option um, over this over the new HomePod. But again, like I said, it's up to you. It's your preference. It's what you like. So if you do want to pick one up, you can pick one up in white or midnight. They're both going to be the exact same price. $300 comes out February 3rd. Not as exciting as the obviously the uh, new MacBooks and the new home uh, new Mac Mini, but I did want to go ahead and share that with you guys. So make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching my latest video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.